Hey y'all, I'm Hannah Barron. Me being a redneck, been around guns my whole life, mostly rifles, and even with pistols, it's always to hunt and to shoot something that's breathing so we'll have something to eat. But I figured I needed to get better with a pistol because people are crazy, and I do conceal carry all the time because people are crazy. But trying to get more used to a pistol and carrying one, so I'm testing out this little doohickey here stuck on the end of the gun, which is the Mantis X. We'll see how it goes. All right, so these are the two pistols that I use the most. We got the Kimber Micro 9 and the R7 Mako, also a Kimber. I carry this one every day because obviously it's smaller, fits in the holster good, etc. And this little doohickey that we got on the end here would usually go on the patini rail like this. And also I know it's a picatinny rail, but that's got too many syllables. I don't like saying it. So we're gonna call it a patini rail. But since the one I carry, every day that I'm trying to get more comfortable with, don't have one of those. We use one of the little sticky attachments to stick it on the mag. There's also different attachments that come with it. And y'all already know, I'm not a professional. I'm just a redneck trying to get better with my pistol. And this is my first time using this by myself. Michelle gave me the rundown before on how to use the Mantis X and the Laser Academy, but this is my first time on my own. So we're gonna download this app and see how it goes. So we're gonna open the app and we're gonna hold down this and we're gonna connect it. Alrighty. So we got, oof. We got holster draw analysis, which I probably need to do so I can get humbled. Ooh. A daily challenge, which pulls up a different challenge every day. A buttload of different drills and courses. But today we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna do open training. Boop. All right, so with the laser academy, which was the little doohickey that went in the end and pointed a laser out and you're shooting at a target. That one's more on like where you're hitting the target and how consistent you are, where this Mantis X kind of tells you how steady you are, your trigger pull, how you're holding it, all the stuff you need to make a good shot kind of from the ground up. Also, you can use this with live rounds, so you can actually go out there to the range and shoot, and it'll give you all the same stuff. It will give you a score, and it'll tell you what you're doing wrong and how you can fix it. All right, folks. First shot here, empty, because you always got to be safe. And let's see what I'm doing wrong. Huh. Great shot, look, look. <laughs> okay, my ego's like way up here now. All right, the next time we're gonna do something wrong, let's see. 98 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This is great for my ego. Okay. 90. Just a good shot. Okay, let's see. Let me move my finger because it'll tell you if you're holding like your finger too much on it and stuff. So we're gonna... That was also a good shot. <laughs> I'm going to... I don't know. Be wonky with it. Okay, so this, it tells you what you're doing wrong. This says I was healing. And you can go down here and click and it'll show you like what you're doing wrong and how you can fix it. So if you click on it, you can see, <laughs> I told you I was gonna hold it wonky. And now it's telling me that I was holding it wonky and what I needed to do. And you can go to your history. And what, what all was it, what all was it? What all, ooh, you can watch videos. Not all kind of stuff. I am extremely proud of myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna royal suck. 92. 95.2. Alright, big thing. Need to practice from being concealed. Two little trigger finger. Alright, there's a new one. You can click on that and see. It shows you how you need to be holding it and how I probably was holding it. I was rushing, I did it wrong. It's humbling me, it's humbling me quick. Got a bad score, we gotta fix that. So, shows me I need to be doing more from when it's holstered. It's fine, it's cool. Watch out. That was a good shot though, that was 90. So we're doing better, we're getting better. 
Because that's what this is all about. It's about improvement. It's about improvement. Ooh, I was pushing forward on that one. That's a new one. Okay, I'll show you, I'll show you. Ooh, there's me. I'm <laughs> Tash. Take 37. Good shot. So I like this because it's something I can do at home without the pressure of other people watching me like at a range. And even if I was to go in my backyard, I live in the middle of nowhere and I can go outside and shoot guns whenever I want to, but ammo is expensive. So with this, we can just dry fire and we ain't gotta worry about wasting a bunch of ammo that we could be using to shoot a squirrel or something to eat. 